Welcome everybody to World Worship Revival Center. Bienvenidos todos a World Worship Revival Center. Thank you for being with us in uh, Collingwood. Estar con nosotros aquí en Collingwood. God is good. Dios es bueno. This is uh, we're celebrating Family Day weekend. Estamos celebrando el, el uh, fin de semana del Día de la Familia. And I really believe that it's so important. Y verdaderamente creo que es muy importante. To have a unity de tener una unidad within the family dentro de la familia you know we need to be aware tenemos que estar apercibidos that the enemy likes to try and as Ross was saying before de que el enemigo está tratando de do everything that he can hacer lo que pueda to destroy the family para destruir la familia and we really need to pray into that y tenemos que orar por eso because there's a lot of families here porque hay muchas familias aquí that really need God's touch amen necesitan el toque de Dios amen amen The well, last couple of weeks we've been speaking about uh, the the orphan spirit. Las semanas pasadas hemos estado hablando por del espíritu huérfano or, or identity and issues o of the orphan spirit. O situaciones con la identidad. And um, you know there's there's really as we were saying there's really a great need. Y como decíamos, hay una gran necesidad in the body of Christ. En el cuerpo de Cristo. For mothers and fathers. De padres y madres. You know this this uh, This orphan spirit. Este espíritu de orfandad. I was thinking about it this week. Estaba pensando esta semana. Really originates in the Garden of Eden. Realmente se origina en el jardín del Edén. And it was that separation. Y fue esa separación. With Adam and Eve. Con Adán y Eva. And ever since that time. Y de ese entonces. We have been, um, you know, we have been under that. Hemos estado bajo eso. It's a lot of spiritual orphans. Hay muchos espíritus huérfanos. And they don't realize that they are orphans and that they're operating. Y no se dan that. cuenta de que son huérfanos y están operando. En eso. En eso. And last week Chris was talking about fatherlessness. La semana pasada estábamos hablando acerca de la orfandad o no tener padres. How many of you remember that? ¿Cuántos se acuerdan de eso? That was a great message, wasn't it? Muy buen mensaje. Because it, it was he was explaining how it was the core. Porque se nos explicaba el cuál era el la raíz you know of 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 this epidemic de, de esta epidemia and how it's so important to have a mother and a father como es tan importante de tener un padre y una madre and um, you know having a mother and a father y tener una madre y un padre you you open yourself uno se abre to be corrected a ser corregido because i can't say that I'm a son, porque no puedo decir que soy un hijo, or a daughter, o una hija, and not be corrected, y no ser corregido. I remember years ago when I when 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 I finally started understanding, recuerdo hace años atrás cuando empecé a entender, really what it was to be a son, que realmente era ser un hijo, and I I remember I started calling pastor dad, y recuerdo que le comencé a decir al pastor papá. And I remember some other people started doing it too. Y recuerdo que otras personas también lo hacían. And I remember pastor telling them. Y recuerdo que el pastor les decía. Are you really sure what you're saying? Realmente sabes lo que dices? Because it's not just about calling me a father. Porque no se trata solamente de llamarme papá. If you're calling me a father, si me llamas papá, you're allowing me. Me estás permitiendo. To bring correction into your life. Traiga corrección a tu vida. And we don't like correction. Y no nos gusta la corrección. Anybody like correction? Alguien le gusta la corrección? But correction is necessary. Pero la corrección es necesaria. Because it's out of love. Porque es es de, de amor. If somebody loves you, si alguien te ama, they'll look out for you. Te van a cuidar. And they'll do everything that they can to protect you. Y harán lo que puedan para protegerte. But sometimes we don't see it that way. Pero a veces no lo vemos de esa manera. How many of you find it difficult? ¿Cuántos a cuántos les hace difícil? To to This whole father issue. Esta, esta situación con los padres. To, to really accept and know. De realmente aceptar y saber. That you are loved. Que sí eres amado. Because I think that's one of the greatest challenges Porque that, that eso, the body of Christ has. Eso es uno de los grandes retos en el cuerpo de Cristo. Because we see it in the scripture. Lo vemos en la escritura. But we, we sometimes have it here. A veces lo tenemos aquí. But it hasn't come to here yet. Pero no ha venido aquí. And I think that. It's something that we really need to understand. Es algo que tenemos que entender. That you are loved. Que tú eres amado. And that God loves you. Y si Dios te ama. He sent his son for you. Él mandó tu, su hijo por ti. 
And that's not just something that we say. Y no es algo que solamente decimos. But that's something that we are. Pero es algo que somos. That is the essence of who we are. Es la esencia de quienes somos. You know, maybe you didn't have a, a, a relationship with your earthly father or your mother. Quizás no hayas tenido una relación con tu padre terrenal. But that's not who you are. Pero no es quien eres. You are a son and you are a daughter. Tú eres un hijo y una hija. And God loves you. Y Dios te ama. And a father will always bring love, y un padre siempre traerá amor, protection, protección, encouragement, eh, ánimo, ánimo, uh, direction, dirección, and affirmation. Y afirmación. But as I mentioned before, pero como mencioné antes, a father will always confront you. El padre también confrontará. You guys are very quiet. Muy silencio. You know, I tell my kids all the time. Le digo a mis hijos todo el tiempo. You know, those who, those of you who have kids, I'm sure this is, you know, you've you've heard this los many que nos, times. Los que, no, los que tienen hijos han escuchado esto muchas veces. You know, when you correct your your your, your Cuando kids, corriges a tu hijo, tell you, you don't love me. Te dicen, no me amas. <laughs> And it's it's one of those things where you 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 tell. Them, y esas cosas que uno le dice. Listen. Escucha. It's because I love you. Es porque te amo. That I'm correcting you. Que te estoy corrigiendo. And it's the same thing in the church. Y es lo mismo en la iglesia. You know, when we're, we're, we, we say that we're sons and daughters. Cuando decimos que somos hijos e hijas. And then when we get corrected. Y nos corrigen. There's no love. No hay amor. They don't love me. No me aman. And have, have you ever, have you, is this just me or have you, has anybody... You know, gone through this. ¿Alguien le ha pasado esto o solamente soy yo? I, I've heard people all the time. He escuchado gente decir todo el I've heard people, not in this church, but y, other churches. Gente ha dicho, no en esta iglesia. There's otra. no love. No hay amor. And it's like, if there wasn't love, si no hubiera amor, you would just be ignored. Te ignorarían. Whatever you're going through, lo que pases, go through it on your own. Pásalo solo. Let me tell you something. Pero les voy a decir algo. Because there is love, porque hay amor, we, nosotros, and I say we, y digo nosotros, I include myself, me incluyo, we will be corrected, seremos corregidos, and we need to accept that in love, y tenemos que aceptar eso en amor, knowing that we're loved, sabiendo que somos amados, and that's why we're corrected, y por eso nos corrigen, because we're sons and daughters, porque somos hijos e hijas, and before we can be, we can be a mother and a father, y antes que podamos ser una madre y un padre, we need to learn to be sons and daughters, tenemos que aprender a ser hijos e hijas. We all have, we all have, as I mentioned the last time, we all have four basic needs. Todos tenemos, como mencioné la última vez, cuatro necesidades básicas. And those needs are unconditional love. Y esas necesidades son amor incondicional. Praise. Alabanza. Vision. Visión. And purpose. Y propósito. Words of love and affirmation. Palabras de amor y afirmación. Are so important. Son tan importante. Because they will nourish us. Porque nos traerán... No, no, no van a nutrir. nutrir. And all of us need to, to, to hear those words of. Y todos necesitamos escuchar esas palabras. Why? ¿Por qué? Because we all need to be nourished. Porque necesitamos ser nutridos. We all need to be affirmed. Necesitamos ser afirmados. You know, we all need to be told, you're doing an awesome job. Necesitamos que nos digan, estás haciendo un buen trabajo. You know, I was, I was sitting back there during worship. Estaba sentado allá durante la alabanza. And I was watching Joel. Y mirando a mi hijo Joel. And I was watching him play. Y lo miraba como, eh, como mm -hmm. tocaba. And I was like so proud of him. Y estaba tan orgulloso de él. And I was saying to myself, that's my boy. Y me decía entre mí, ese es mi hijo. And that's exactly what Jesus does. Y es lo que Jesús hace. With each one of us. Con cada uno de nosotros. When we do something Cuando amazing. Cuando hacemos algo increíble. He is so proud Él está tan orgulloso of each and every one of de us. cada uno de nosotros. And sometimes we don't it, it's hard for us to accept that. Y a veces es difícil que lo aceptemos. Because those words are not familiar to us. Porque esas palabras no son familiar para nosotros. Because maybe we didn't receive those words. Quizás no hemos recibido esas palabras. But Jesus says, Pero Jesús dice, I, this is my beloved son. Este es mi hijo amado. This is my beloved daughter. Este es mi hija amada. In whom I am well pleased. En la cual tengo complacencia. And God is well pleased. Y Dios está complacido. With each and every one of you. Con cada uno de ustedes. And you need to really understand y that. Necesitan entender eso. No matter what you have done. No importa lo que hayas hecho. No matter how your life has been. O cómo estuvo tu vida. God loves you. Dios te ama. And He's so proud of you. Y él está muy orgulloso de ti. You are loved. Tú eres amado. 
And the word tells us, even though as we were singing, I am not alone, I am not alone. Y la palabra alone, nos dice, así como estábamos cantando, no estoy solo, no estoy solo. You are not alone. Tú no estás solo. You were never alone. Nunca estuviste solo. God has always been there with Dios you. Dios está ahí siempre contigo. And the word says that he will never leave us. Y la palabra dice que no nos dejará. He will never forsake us. No nos abandonará. He will pick us up. Nos levantará. He will go before us. Irá delante de nosotros. And he will make a way. Y él hará un camino. No matter what you're going through. No importa lo que estés pasando. You are his son. Tú eres su hijo. You are his daughter. Tú eres su hija. And he loves you. Y él te ama. Because you are worth it. Porque tú vales mucho. You are so worth it. Vales tanto. That he died on the cross for you. Que él murió en la cruz por ti. That he gave his son for you. Que él dio su hijo por ti. I don't know about you, but when we really understand what that means. No sé ustedes, pero cuando entendemos realmente lo que eso significa. That has to change our lives. Eso tiene que cambiar nuestras vidas. Because that is our identity. Porque esa es nuestra identidad. He is our identity. Él es nuestra identidad. We are his sons and we are his daughters. Somos sus hijos, sus hijas. And when I when I'm when we're talking about orphans, cuando estamos hablando de huérfanos, it doesn't mean that you don't have parents. No significa que uno no tiene padres. Maybe you didn't have parents. Quizás no tuviste padres. But we're not referring to to um to not having parents. Pero no nos parents. estamos refiriendo a no haber tenido padres. It's basically a sense of of uh, of abandonment. Es básicamente un sentir de abandono. Of loneliness o soledad. Of isol of alienation. Uh, isolación. And, and isolation, which is the same thing. Yeah. But we have the tendency. Pero tenemos esa tendencia. When we have the orphan mindset. Cuando tenemos esa mentalidad huérfana. Is we tend to isolate ourselves. De eh, ser isolados. Aislados. Aislados. And we tend to, you know, put ourselves away from everyone else. Y nos separamos de los demás. And, and what I want to talk to you about today is I want to talk about some of the characteristics lo que quiero hablar tu, hoy día es una de las características of the spirit of orphan and the spirit of sonship o del espíritu huérfano y del espíritu de ser hijo. And the orphan spirit el espíritu huérfano originates or, 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 or operates se origina o opera out of insecurity a través de inseguridad and jealousy y celos. A son and a daughter, pero un hijo y una hija, operates out of love, operan de amor, and acceptance, y ser aceptados. I want you to, I want you to really, you know, let let these these characteristics sink in. Quiero que estas características realmente piensen en ellas. And really identify yourself where you stand. Y identifiquen dónde están. And if you're you're identifying yourself as a son, y si te identificas como hijo, or a daughter, o hija, really good. Qué bien. If you identify yourself as an orphan, si te identificas con un huérfano, that's also good. Eso también es bueno. Because that means that there's areas in your life, porque eso quiere decir que hay áreas en tu vida, there's areas in my life, áreas en mi vida, that we still need to work on, que todavía tenemos que trabajar. And that's good. Y eso es bueno. You know, because we 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 recognize our condition, porque reconocemos nuestra condición, and we want to do better, y queremos hacer mejor. We want to be a son, queremos ser un hijo. We want to be a daughter, queremos ser una hija. But there will always be times or situations in life Pero siempre habrá tiempos en nuestras vidas where something happens donde algo ocurre and the way that you react y la manera como uno reacciona will tell you nos dirá hold on a second oh espera you're not being a son or a daughter no estás viendo un hijo siendo un hijo o una hija you're being an orphan estás siendo un huérfano and you know we have we have the the The, the parable of the prodigal son tenemos la parábola del, del hijo pródigo and we have the, the older brother the younger brother tenemos el, el hijo más joven el más grande and and many times we're like the older brother y muchas veces somos como el hijo más grande why because we have everything ¿Por qué? porque tenemos todo but we don't take ownership of what we have pero no tenemos no tomamos uh, pertenencia de lo que tenemos you know god has given us everything dios nos dio todo And and why is it that sometimes we can be like the older brother? Y porque a veces nos comportamos como el hermano mayor. And say, Lord, y decir, Dios, you bless Divina with this amount of money. Tú le bendijiste a Divina con todo este dinero. Why can't you bless me with that porque amount no of money? Puedes bendecir a mí con ese dinero. Or you know, Lord, why is it that this person got a raise? Oh, señor, ¿por qué esta persona le dieron un aumento? And why didn't I get a raise? Y yo no me dieron nada. Lord, why does this person have a huge house? Porque esta persona tiene una casa inmensa. And I have a small house. Y yo tengo una casa pequeña. You know, it, it's we we can be like the older brother. Podemos estar así como el hermano mayor. We can have everything. Tener todo. 
but not access what God has given to us. Pero no tener acceso a lo que Dios nos quiere dar. Because we're being jealous. Porque somos celosos. Because we're 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 operating. Porque estamos operando. Out of insecurity. Desde la inseguridad. How many of us have insecurities? ¿Cuántas veces tenemos inseguridad? We all have insecurities. Todos tenemos inseguridades. You know how many of us can sometimes be jealous? ¿Cuántos nosotros podemos decir que somos celosos a veces? Or, or be jealous of something. O celosos de algo. And you know those are things that we need to work on. Cosas que tenemos que trabajar. We need to operate out of love. Tenemos que operar desde el amor. Because God is love. Porque Dios es amor. And He has given us His Son. Y nos dio a su hijo. And because he is love, y porque él es amor, and we have his nature, y tenemos su naturaleza, we are love. Somos amor. And it's so important to to love and to accept. Y es tan importante de amar y aceptar. And to give that acceptance to people. Y dar esa aceptación a las personas. You know, people are looking, people are looking to be loved. La gente está buscando ser amada. You know, I remember. Um, I remember a few years ago. Recuerdo hace años atrás. Um, there was a young man who who came to our our, our church or visited our church. Un joven que visitó la iglesia. He was the son. He was the son of a, of a lady that used to come to our church. Y fue era el hijo de una señora que visitaba la iglesia. And he was having this conversation with someone else. Y estaba teniendo una conversación con otra persona. About church and what church was. Acerca de la iglesia y lo que era la iglesia. You know, sometimes people have this uh, this thought or this image or this. You know, way. A veces la gente tiene una, un pensamiento, una imagen, una manera. Of how church is and how church should be. Cómo la iglesia es y cómo tuviera que ser. And I remember th this lady was telling us. Y esta señora nos decía. That her son said to this other person. Que su hijo le dijo a otra persona. You know, you can go to my mom's church. Tú puedes ir a la iglesia de mi mamá. Because they'll accept you as you are. Porque te aceptarán como eres. They won't judge you. No te juzgarán. Whether your hair is purple. Aunque sea tu pelo azul. You know, whether you have, you know. Tattoos, earrings, whatever you have. Tatuajes, aros, lo que sea. They're not going to judge you. No te van a juzgar. They're going to accept you. Te van a aceptar. And that's what Jesus does. Y es lo que Jesús eh, hace. You know, you don't need to have tattoos. No tienes que tener tatuajes. You don't need to have purple hair. O pelo azul. But maybe your situation is different. Pero quizás tu situación sea diferente. Maybe you feel like you don't, you feel inadequate. Quizás te sientes inadecuado. You feel like you don't belong. O como que no perteneces. You feel like, you know, you're, 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 you're lonely. Como que estás solo. You feel rejected. O rechazado. But Jesus loves you and will meet you exactly Pero where Dios you are. Pero Dios te ama y, y te va a encontrar donde estés. Why? Because he is love. ¿Por qué? Porque él es amor. Where does insecurity and, and jealousy arise? ¿De dónde viene la inseguridad, los celos? How about when someone else, as I said before, is being told how great they're doing? ¿Qué tal cuando alguien vemos que está teniendo éxito? Or someone is being praised. O alguien le están alabando. And you're not. Y tú no. How do we react? ¿Cómo reaccionamos? Are we happy? Estamos contentos. Do we say awesome, great? Decimos, wow, qué increíble. An orphan, un huérfano, would get very upset. Se enojaría mucho. A son and a daughter, pero un hijo y una hija, would cheer them on and praise them. Los alabarían y los empujarían a ser mejor. But how many times? Pero qué tantas veces? Have we been in that situation? Hemos estado en esa situación. How come they got praised and I didn't? Porque ellos la alabaron y a mí no. How come they got the recognition and I didn't? Porque ellos le dieron lo reconocieron y a mí no. Anybody ever been in that situation? ¿Alguien estado en esa situación? You know, and it's there's, there's one thing that I that, that that we want everyone to understand. Y que algo que todos entendamos esto. Being a son and a daughter Ser un hijo, una hija, is a process. Es un proceso. You have to allow yourself tienes que permitirte to be to be fathered, mothered. Ser, you need to allow yourself padre. to be a son and a daughter. Tienes que ser hijo, hija. Does it mean that you're going to be perfect? No quiere decir que vas a ser Does it mean that you're going to, you know, get it all? O vas a saber todo. Does it mean that you're not going to go through any of these, you know, experiences? Porque vas a pasar por todas estas experiencias. Absolutely not. You're no. still going to go through them. Vas a pasarlo. 
But the important thing is Pero lo importante es to recognize que reconozcamos where you are dónde estás and where you want to be y dónde quieres estar and that Jesus will always love you y Jesús siempre te amará no matter what you are no importa lo que eres a son and a daughter un hijo una hija is secure in the father's love están seguros en el amor del padre whether they are celebrated or not sean celebrados o no it's good to be celebrated es bueno ser celebrado But if if I'm not celebrated, pero si no estoy siendo celebrado, that's okay. Está bien. Because I know who I am. Porque sé quién soy. And sometimes people that are celebrated, y a veces a, a, aquellos que son celebrados, need to be celebrated. Necesitan ser celebrados. They need those words. Necesitan esas palabras. Sometimes those words can be key for those a people. A veces esas palabras son una llave para ellos. The orphan spirit is jealous of others' success. El espíritu huérfano está celoso del éxito de los demás. Are you secure in who you are? ¿Estás seguro en quién eres? Are we secure in who we Estamos are? seguros en quién somos. Sometimes, a veces, always, siempre. We're getting there. Estamos llegando. The orphan spirit rejoices in the failures of others. El espíritu huérfano se regocija en los fracasos de los demás. Because it makes them feel good. Porque se, se les hace sentir bien. They're very selfish. Son muy egoístas. A son and a daughter, un hijo y una hija, rejoices in the success of others. Se regocijan en el éxito de los demás. And will rejoice and celebrate it. Y se regocijarán y celebrarán. They're very quiet. Están muy Silenciosos. These messages I know are, are estos mensajes son are challenging son retan but they're they're so necessary pero son necesarios because there's there's so many times where we we don't know where we're at porque hay tantas veces que no sabemos dónde estamos and it's really important to to understand es importante know, saber that you are a son and you're a daughter que tú eres un hijo una hija If you want to, as we were saying, if you want to grow and you want to get to that next level, si quieres crecer y llegar a ese nivel, you need to, you need to really, necesitamos, you know, know your true identity, saber tu verdadera identidad. You know, there's there's such a a great need for for fathers. Y hay tan gran necesidad de padres. And God has given each one of us. Y Dios nos ha dado a cada uno de nosotros that seed. Esa semilla. And we have a, a, a great responsibility y tenemos una gran responsabilidad as, as, as sons and daughters como hijos e hijas to, to demonstrate that love. de demostrar ese amor. A son and a daughter knows that they're accepted. Un hijo y una hija saben y son aceptados. As Ephesians 3:17 says, Efesios 3, Efesios 3, 17 dice, it says that we are rooted and grounded in His love. Estamos arraigados y cimentados en su amor. And and really, love is is the essence. Y realmente el amor es la esencia. It's the essence of who we are. La esencia de quienes somos. The orphan spirit strives to earn His love el through accomplishments. El espíritu de huérfano um, se esmera en tratar de ganar ese amor a través de cumplir cosas. How many of you have ever done something? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han hecho algo to earn someone's love? Para ganar el amor de alguien. And not in a in, not in a healthy way. Y no en una manera buena. O sana. You know, as 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 sons and daughters, como hijos e hijas, There's no striving. No hay ese esfuerzo. You know, a son and a daughter knows that they are loved and accepted. Un hijo accepted, y una hija son saben que son amados y aceptados. And and they serve out of that abundance. Y sirven de esa abundancia. How many times have we strived? ¿Cuántas veces nos hemos esforzado? To receive love. De recibir amor. You know, we do we do so many things for people to love us. Hacemos tantas cosas para que la gente nos ame. For people to accept us. Para que nos acepten. 
And, and the reality is this. Y la realidad es, God loves you Dios te ama just as you are. Así como eres. You don't need to do anything else no tienes que hacer nada más for God to love you anymore. Para que Dios te ame aún más. Because like I said, He is love. Porque como dije, Él es amor. He is the essence of love. Él es la esencia del amor. And, you know, we... Short, short message, but I, I really hope mensaje corto, pero espero que that God has spoken to you through this, que Dios te haya hablado a través de esto and that you can identify the areas in your life puedas identificarte las áreas en tu vida that you're still an orphan in. donde todavía sientes ser huérfano. You know, we really need to um, allow ourselves realmente tenemos que permitirnos to give those words of love dar esas palabras de amor to give those words of affirmation de dar esas palabras de afirmación and sometimes you may have to purpose that in your heart y a veces tienes que tener eso en propósito en tu corazón because it may not be what you're what you want what you what you're accustomed to porque quizás no es algo en lo cual estás acostumbrado you know maybe you were never told that you were loved quizás nadie te dijo que te amaban maybe your parents didn't tell you that didn't tell didn't tell you that they loved you quizás tus padres nunca te dijeron eso Like Pastor shared that testimony of a couple of weeks back. Como nos compartió el pastor ese testimonio de the, semanas atrás. Where the daughter said to the mother, donde la hija le dijo a la madre, you, you had never said to me that you loved me. Nunca me dijiste que me amas. Up until this point. Hasta este entonces. You know, and and if you haven't received that, or if si you no haven't recibido eso, you haven't received that affirmation, o esa afirmación, purpose it in your heart. Eh, ponlo a propósito en tu corazón. To do that with your kids. De hacer eso con tus hijos. To do it with your spouse. De hacerlo con tu esposa. Because that's going to nourish. Porque eso los va a nutrir. That's going to bring life. Eso les va a traer vida. And that's really going to to bless them. Y eso los va a bendecir. And to change them. Y los va a cambiar. You know, we we we, you know, being being um, being affectionate. Siendo uh, teniendo afecto is is something that I'm personally working on. Es algo que yo estoy personalmente trabajando. You know, in my family they weren't really too affectionate. En mi familia no han sido no han tenido tanto afecto. So for for me I have to purpose that in my Pero heart. Pero para mí tengo it. que poner ese propósito en mi corazón. And when I don't do it, y cuando no lo hago, I get told to do it. Me dicen que lo haga. <laughs> But you know it's I just want you guys to understand that. Pero quiero que entiendan. You know, if you're not there, que si no estás ahí, that's okay. Está bien. I'm not there 100% either. Yo tampoco estoy ahí 100%. But I'm in the process. Pero estoy en el proceso. I'm learning. Estoy aprendiendo. <laughs> I've learned a lot. He aprendido mucho. And I'm continuing to learn. Y todavía sigo aprendiendo. Because we all need to have porque todos necesitamos. We all need a, a, a spiritual mom and a spiritual dad. Todos necesitamos un padre y una madre espiritual. To guide us. Que nos guíen. To put us in our place. Que nos pongan en nuestro lugar. And to tell us that what we're doing is not right. Y que nos digan que lo que estamos haciendo no está bien. To tell us that what we're doing is right. Que lo que estamos haciendo sí está bien. And really to for us to be sensitive and open to their their words. Y de ser sensibles y abiertos a sus palabras. Because what I can personally tell you Porque lo que les puedo decir personalmente is that it's not it'll never be out of control. Nunca será de control, but it'll always be out of love. Pero será de amor. And so we really need to be um, sensitive. Tenemos que ser sensibles to to ask for wisdom y, y de, de pedir sabiduría. And to also ask for advice. Y pedir eh, Consejo. Consejo. And sometimes the the response that you'll get. Y a veces la respuesta is not going to be the response that you want. Quizás no será la respuesta que queremos recibir. It's not going to be the response that you like. O quizás la respuesta que nos guste. But when you submit yourself. Pero cuando te sometes. And you allow yourself to be a son and a daughter. Y te permites ser un hijo o hija. You know, as as I like I like the way you illustrated that. Me gusta that testimony that was really good. Como ilustra el testimonio. You know, when, muy bueno. when, when you close yourself off. Cuando uno se cierra. You're like this. Estás así. But when you open yourself up, uno se abre, you're like this. Estás así. And as Divina explained, y como nos dijo Divina, when you're like this, cuando estamos así, you're open to receive. Estamos abiertos a recibir. So are we open to receive? Estamos abiertos a recibir. Are we open to receive love? Estamos abiertos a recibir amor. Are we open to receive love? Estamos abiertos a recibir amor. The next question is. La pregunta que sigue es. Are we open to receive correction? Estamos abiertos a recibir corrección. Because love is correction. Porque amor es corrección. 
Amen. Amen. Let's stand. Vamos a ponernos de pie. Father, I thank you for this word. Padre, te doy gracias por esta palabra. I thank you for each one of us that are in this place. Gracias por cada uno de los que estamos aquí en este lugar. Thank you, Father, because we're in a process. Gracias porque estamos, Señor, en un proceso. And Father, we recognize y reconocemos the areas in our lives las áreas de nuestra vida where we are still orphans donde todavía somos huérfanos and where we still need to change y necesitamos cambiar. And Father, we thank you y para te damos gracias that you have given your son for us que tú nos diste a tu hijo so that we would have life podamos tener vida and have it in abundance y tenerla en abundancia and father i thank you for each one of those people that are watching us on online y gracias señor por los que nos están mirando en línea i ask you to bless them te pedimos que los bendigas and father i ask you that um, they would be able to recognize que padre puedas, puedan ellos reconocer where they're at dónde están and where they need to change y dónde necesitan cambiar Just as we are also recognizing Así como nosotros reconocemos where we are dónde estamos and where we need to be. y dónde tenemos que estar. Father, I thank you and I bless each and every one of them. Padre, te doy gracias y los bendigo a cada uno de ellos. In Jesus name. En el nombre de Jesús. I bless you. Los bendigo. We'll see you next week. Nos vemos la semana que viene. And have an amazing, awesome week. Y tengan una gran semana. Amen. Amen.